multiplexer or MUX in short form. A multiplexer is a combinational circuit that selects binary information from one of many input lines and directs the information to a single output line. The selection of a particular input line is controlled by a set of input variables called selection input. This is the basic block diagram of a typical MUX. We have selection inputs. If we have n selection lines, then there can be 2 to the power n number of input lines and there will be one single output lines. Now how it operates? For each unique selection combinations, whatever the data that is available in the corresponding input side that will be delivered to y output line let us see an example using four to one line marks in a four to one line marks there will be two selection input and four inputs will be available one output this is s0 this is s1 this is I0, I1, I2, I3, and this output Y. And this is called 4, 2, 1, max. If the selection button is set to 0, 0, then this I0 input data will be transferred to the output Y line. We may have any data available in the input side, for example, 1, 0, 1, 1. But not all the data will be passed through this Y line. That depends on the selection input. If the selection input is 0, 1, then whatever data available, that will be transferred to Y. If the selection data is 1, 0, then whatever data is available in I2, that will be transferred to Y. And if the selection button is selected as 1, 1, then whatever data available in I3, that will be available in the output side Y line. Suppose here we have 1011 1, 1 input. Now if we provide 0, 01 here, so what will be the output? The value of I1 will be available here. If we provide 10 here, what will be the output? The value of I2 will be available in the Y output side. Now let us construct the logic diagram for port to one line marks. We have four inputs I0, I1, I2, I3, and two selection button S1, S0. This line will represent S1 directly and this line will represent S0 directly. This line will represent S1 prime. This line will represent S0 prime. First, I0 will be transferred if S0 equals to 0 and S1 equals to 0. So if we use AND get here, first of all, one of the inputs of this AND get will be I0. Next, this I0 will be transferred if S0 equals to 0. In that case, S0 prime will give us 1 and S1 prime will give us 1. For this unique case, we'll get here I0. For the other inputs, we need to use three more AND gets. Now, for I1 to be passed, we need to give selection button as 0, 1. So, we need to take S1 prime and S0. Next for I2, the selection button should have 1 0. So we need to take these two inputs and for I3, the selection button should have the value of 1 1. So we can take S1 and S0 directly. Single output. So all this output must pass through an OR gate. This is the function output y. So this is the internal diagram of 4 to 1 mass. Whenever we are selecting 0, 0 here, what will happen? This AND gate will get 1, 1 from the selection button. Now, whatever input that is available here, I0, if I0 equals to 0, then output of this AND gate will be 0. If I0 equals to 1, output of this AND gate will be 1 as these two inputs are 1, 1. For this set of input, the other AND gate will give a 0, 0, 0, 0. So whatever input that is available here that will not be transferred to this AND gate. So I0 will be transferred through the AND gate and that output will be available in the Y. 
so we can say for 00, zero input i0 zero data will be transferred to the output y for 0 1 case this and gate will get 1 1 from this selection inputs and whatever data that is available in i1 that will be transferred here and that will be available in y output so in this way it works multiplexers are often used as digital switch and sometimes it is also called as data selector next we will see the implementation of boolean function using mux in our previous lectures we saw the implementation of any function using decoder and we had to use an external or gate here we will see how can we implement any boolean function using mux let me describe the procedure by showing an example suppose we have a function f a b c that means this function has three variables that is represented using sum of mean terms 1 3 5 6 if we draw the truth table for this function that will look like this we have a b c three inputs and function output we can have eight combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 These are the eight combinations. The function output will be one at decimal value of one position, then three position. This is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. At five, we have one, six, one, seven. Will be. This is the function output for this Boolean expression. We can implement this function using KMAP method by employing basic gates. We can implement this function by using a decoder. For the decoder case, we need to use 3 into 8 decoder. Now we'll learn how to implement this function using MUX. First of all, we need to know how to select the right MUX for implementing this function. So we need to go for selection of MUX. Now, if we want to implement a function that has n number of variables, for this case, we have three variables. If we have n number of variables, the max that we need to take that must have n minus 1 selection button or selection line. So we need to take n minus 1 selection lines for n variable implementations, function implementation. So this is important. For this example, we have three variables. So the max that we need to use that should have two selection button. That means three minus one means two. Using two selection button, the max size that we can have will be four to one line max. That means for this example, the max that we need to use that will be four into one max or four to one line max. In this type of max, there will be four inputs two selection lines and one output so if we draw the block diagram it will have two selection input and four input lines and one output lines this is four into one max this is i0 i1 i2 i3 here the selection lines will be s0 and s1 this is the function output that will be available here now let us see the designing procedure first of all for this function a is the msb and c is the lsb whatever the number of variable is what you need to do you need to take the most significant variable apart remaining variables will be connected with selection lines available in the max here c is the least significant bit so c will be the least significant bit of the selection lines here a0 is the least significant bit so c Will be connected with this that means s0 equals to c and s1 should be equals to b so b c input will be passed through this selection lines now with the remaining variable a we need to list the inputs of the multiplexer in a certain way let me show you how all the inputs how many inputs are there four inputs i0 i1 i2 i3 and take a prime a here that means 0 1 for a variable then write the decimal value here 0 1 2 3 
four, five, six, seven. This function shows that the function will have high value for one, three, five, six position. So just circle those positions one, three, five, six. These are the positions. And these are the representation of mean terms. Now you need to follow some rules. First of all, if the two mean terms in a column are not circled, suppose here they are not circled in a single column, apply zero here. If both the mean terms are circled, then we need to apply one here. If there is only one circle in one column, then it is circled with a variable a, so you write a directly here. And here, the circle is in the line of a prime so you write a prime here now we have a input this a will be connected with i2 and a prime will be connected with i3 so what you can do this a will be connected directly with i2 and you can take output this is a prime and a prime will be connected with i3 and i0 and i1 will have constant value 0 and 1. So you need to connect 0 here and 1 here. Now this max will act according to this function. Let's check it. Suppose we are giving 0, 1, 0. What should be the output? The function output should be 0. So a equals to 0. Here we are providing 0. b equals to 1 and c equals to 0. So what will happen whenever you are selecting 1, 0? i2 will be passed the value of i2 will be 0 when a equals to 0 so this 0 will be passed so it is acting as per this function definition let us see another example suppose for 101 the function output should be 1 so we are giving a equals to 1 b equals to 0 and c equals to 1 so whenever we have 0 1 0 1 means this i1 will be transferred now what is the value of i1 i1 value is 1 so this 1 will be transferred and we are supposed to get one output for 101 so this function is implemented using 4 into 1 max let me show you an another example suppose this is the function which is needed to be implemented using max there are four variables and the marks that we need to select that should have 4 minus 1 that means three selection lines and using three selection lines, the marks that we can get that will be eight to one line marks. Let us construct that mask. There will be three selection lines and eight input. These are the eight inputs. First of all, here we have the most significant variable that is A and d is the least significant variable so we need to give these inputs as b c d d is equals to s0 c is equals to s1 and b is equals to s2 there will be one output line this is the function output this is 8 into 1 max this is i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and i7 line next what we need to do we need to plot a table here we'll have i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and finally i7 and here we need to take a prime a the remaining variables so let's write the mean terms value 0 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now let us encircle the values for which this function is true. We have 0, then 1, then 3, 4, 8, 9, and 15. So here both the numbers are encircled, so we'll write 1. We'll write 1 here. Here no number is encircled, so we'll write 0. Here only a prime is encircled, so a prime. A prime. 0, 0, a. 
so 1 will be applied to i0 1 will be applied to i1 0 will be applied to i2 a prime will be applied to i3 a prime will be applied to i4 then 0 will be applied to i5 0 will be applied to i6 and a will be applied to i7 so we have a input this is a line this is a prime line a prime will be connected with i3 and i4 so i3 will be connected with a prime i4 will be connected with a prime and i7 will be connected with a these are connected i0 will be 1 i1 will be 1 i2 will be 0 i5 i6 will be 0 hence this function is implemented using 18 to 1 max i hope the procedure is very clear to all of you demultiplexer or dmux in short form a demultiplexer or dmux basically reverses the multiplexing function it takes digital information from one line and distributes it to a given number of output lines here we have n numbers of output lines this input data will pass through one of these lines and that depends on this selection inputs so these selection inputs decide through which output line this input data will be passed that's why the demultiplexer is also known as a data distributor here using n numbers of selection line we can have maximum 2 to the power n numbers of output lines that's why it is named as 1 2 2 to the power n line dmux or 1 into 2 to the power n line dmux where n is the number of selection lines let us see an example for n equals to 2 in that case the name of the dmux will be 1 into 4 dmux in 1 into 4 dmux there will be two selection lines one input line which is data input and four output lines this is 1 into 4 dmux we have selection line s0 s1 this is data input i and these are the outputs d0 d1 d2 and finally d3 now if we provide 0 0 whatever data that is available in i that will be passed through d0 again if we provide 0 1 whatever data is available in i that will be passed through d1 line if we provide 1 0 this i data will be passed through d2 and for 1 1 this i data will be passed through d3 sometimes this type of dmux is designed with enable pin so this is enable pin if enable equals to 0 though we provide 0 0 or 0 1 or 1 0 or 1 1 in selection lines all the outputs will remain 0 no data will be transferred that means for e equals to 0 this dmux will be deactivated if e equals to 1 then this will operate normally that means for 0 0 this i data will be transferred to d0 for 0 1 this i data will be transferred to d1 and so on let us draw the truth table for this we have e s1 s0 and in output side we have d0 d1 d2 d3 if enable equals to 0 then whatever data we have in s0 and s1 in the selection button this data will not be transferred all the outputs will be 0 now if enable equals to 1 then for 0 0 input d0 will be i this i data will be transferred to d0 and others will be 0 for 0 1 d1 will be i others will be 0 for 1 0 d2 will be i others will be 0 and for 1 1 d3 will be i so we can write d0 equals to i whatever data we have in i e s1 is 0 prime prime and d1 equals to i ended with e s1 is 0 this s1 will have prime d2 will be i e s1 is 0 prime and finally d3 will be i 
E S1 S0. Now let us draw the logic diagram. We have selection input S0 S1 and we have data input and enable pin. This is S1 line, this is S0 line. This is S1 prime line, this is S0 prime. We need to have four AND gates. So two, three, this is one AND gate. Here it will be D0, D1, D2, D3. Now this I is ended with all the inputs. So we may connect with all in Roots of and gets these are connected next e is connected with all the and gets now d0 is i e s1 prime s0 prime so we need to take one input from s1 prime another input from s0 prime again for this s1 prime and s0 Again for this S1 S0 prime. Finally for this S1 and these are connected. This is D0, D1, D2, D3. So this is the logic diagram of a 1 into 4 DMAX.